Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Rancifer. What's so good about it? Well, Rancifer, lots of things. Today we're going to talk about good manners. Why? My manners be good as hell. Well, Rancifer, we could all stand to work on our manners. Even me. Man, you still beating yourself up because I was jive talking that black dude the other day? Rancifer, you were very, very rude. I wasn't rude. I'm just a little boy. You? Now that's another story. I would never say what you said. White lady, you had your hand up my ass. Just be honest. Tell these children what you made me say. I didn't make you say that. Slavery, segregation, civil rights, and you still ain't gonna accept no responsibility? You ain't even honest enough to admit what you had said. Good manners do not allow for honesty. Children, your thoughts don't matter, so just smile and look friendly so you don't offend anyone with your thoughts. That's the craziest bullshit I done ever heard. Well, that's proper etiquette. Children, don't be listening to this. What you think and feel is very important. Very! Well, yes, of course it is. As long as it's not hurtful to anyone else. Even if it is, you can't live like that. Afraid? Afraid of offending someone with every expression or turn of phrase? Well, that is true. We shouldn't have to live in fear, should we? No. Like you. You so afraid of offending someone that you can't even tell the story. It's just a story. It's no reflection of your deepest thoughts and feelings. It is hard to live this way. Go on. Tell them. Tell the children what you had made me say in the past that had made you so fearful. Go on now. Ooh, I almost got you. <laughs> I bet he, oh, that brother right there. Everywhere, every time you about to say nigga, he pop up. He like a magical nigga. Magic nigga is what they call him. That's what they call him out on the streets. I heard him call him. People say magic nigga. He said what? That's what he say because he responds to his name. He's magic nigga. Now, now, as I was saying, and I mean, come on now, admit it, take some responsibility. I never got my 40 acres in a mule, never got it. I, I don't, matter of fact, I don't even have a backyard. And I don't even have a puppy. Can I get a backyard and a puppy? If I can't get 40 acres in a mule, can I get a back, back, backyard and a puppy? Backyard and a puppy.